Let's talk about Stable Cascade, the new AI diffusion model just released. So AI have been going really fast in the development and everything. New AI models release every day. Look at Hugging Face. They have everything listing in here that you see the Meta Voice IO. Well, I'm going to talk about this in uh, the large language model channel soon and then scroll down into here. I see, well, Stability AI have stable video diffusions 1.1. Well, I was going to do this, but then when I scroll up a little bit, they showed Stability AI Stable Cascade. And I saw this is like not even a days ago and 16 hours ago. And then I was checking out this one and I say, okay, forget about Stable Video Diffusions 1.1 updates and let's do this one. Because when I saw this one, they said, this model is built up on the worst gen architecture. And I have mentioned this diffusion model previously in my YouTube channel, which is here. This is the sausage. And where this name I search, it is actually a German language of a sausage. And well, that's how I came up with the thumbnails of these videos. And then I saw this is very interesting, that Stable Diffusion newer model from Stability AI, they are creating a new diffusions model using the worst gen. And then we had talked about this architecture before. It is able to train diffusions, model, faster speed with smaller pixels image, and you are able to produce SDXL standard size image, like this one, we have 1024 by 1024 image, but then their encoding of this architecture is using 24 by 24 px eels. Instead of that, it is 42 times smaller training data compared with traditional stable diffusions, 1.5, 128 by 128 pixels. And it is even faster than SDXL because, well, why not, right? You do something newer model, of course, it's going to be performed better than the older AI models. And one thing is really good about this model, stable cascade created by Stability AI. They are also supporting for LoRa control net, IP adapter, and LCM. Like, oh my goodness, this is insane. If there's new updates for Automatic 11.11 or Comfy UI, any web UI system that will support stable diffusions, I believe later on we will have an update that can support this stable Cascade AI models to run image generations on those systems. And one of the very good news about that is that they have a new demo page that we will be testing out this model. And right now they have not officially released any support in Automatic 11 or Comvi UI at this moment. They just updated today within just 24 hours. So I'm going to just say, okay, forget about stable video diffusions update and let's do this one first. So this model, let's go through their overview and some technical backgrounds about this one. First of all, you see this model, Stable Cascade. They are separating with three stages of image generation process, which we call it the latent generator and the latent generator in stage C. They generate this using the text, your input text. That means your text prompt generating the brief ideas of the image. And then they pass it to the stage B to do the latent decoder so that it allows the AI to put those pixels, those little, little dot pixels, put it back into this whole objects. And then through these objects, they can be refined, tuned in stage A, and you will be getting a full image of your result. So within this one, they are using better, I would say better performance than stable diffusions since they are using a smaller size pixels for their encoder training. And then the processing data is smaller size that is like 42 times compared with the traditional stable diffusion. So that is really advantage for us to processing faster. Even you have lower end GPU graphic cards or high end graphic cards, both of them are able to have advantage to generate image faster. And one of the really good thing that I saw in here they have the evaluations, you got the prom alignment and the aesthetic quality they have compared with Playground version 2 and SDXL Turbo and SDXL and then the version version 2. So in the prompt alignment of them are suppressing those older model that currently on the market and then in the aesthetic quality, 
The Playground 2 version 2 is a little bit higher score than the Stable Cascade, but it is way better than other three diffusions model in here as they test in the, this is like the benchmarking result from their testing phase. So let's go to their demo page in Hugging Phase. Right now we have this page. Now I will share the links of this Hugging Face demo page and also the model card in here as well. And also they have GitHub page that is talking about the same thing of what we saw in the Hugging Face model card. The same information is in here and you can check this out as well. And also they have more details about the text prompt that you are going to input that is not like those stable diffusions 1.5 stylus text prompt. And this is more like a natural language manner of input prompts for creating a new image in this new model. And also they have control net here. As you can see, you can control the face, the face identity. And then, well, if you have the face identity, that means they have already handled the face swap features within the model. I will believe that is so. And then they have the candies control net that is going to just like other stable diffusion control net that we used to do. And then the super resolutions. That means they have something like an upscaling for making your image more details and more refinement on all the detail, small part of your AI image. And then you can easily train your Loras with any objects. For example, they have a dog of this and then they train with this image and they can reproduce this image with a spacesuit of the dog wearing a spacesuit. And then the image recognitions are, well, I can say it's better than Stable Diffusion 1.5 or SDXL because their training is, they have more image training for their models. Without this principle, it has already suppressed the image recognition of the older Stable Diffusions model. Okay, so let's go to the demo page right here. Let's try this out. Now, I have tried one time with a very simple prompt in here. I say the playground, an old man walking with his grandson, holding hand and sunset time. Now, this is not like the old days. The traditional text prompts in Stable Diffusions 1.5. As you can see, we are using a more natural language sentence, almost like a sentence, to create an image like this. Now, as I can see, the image in here is, well, it's pretty nice. Let's go to a new tab and we can check out the full size of it. Now, as you can see, all these prompts in here, it does generating into the image. Already, there's a grandson and then the old man is holding hands together in a playground and then the sunset time. Basically, all the principle of my prompts is already appear on this image and it does really well to handle multiple elements of a text prompt rather than in stable diffusions 1.5 or even SDXL. Sometimes you cannot do multiple element handling, which means they are not in here. They have set the prompt alignment, which means they have not did that quite good in SDXL and even the older one, the SD 1.5. But then in here, it's done really well right? And then you can see in here, they have the advanced options that you can, of course, you put negative prompts, you can generate seat numbers. That is very typical for all AI models, especially for image generation models. And then you can set your width and height in here. And that is the same size of SDXL by default of this AI model, and then numbers of image. And then this one is kind of a new thing for us as a stable diffusions user, the prior guidance scale, and then the prior inference steps, and then the decoder guidance scale. This is something, and also the lastly in here, the inference steps. This is something that we don't have in stable diffusions. Well, the steps we can classify this one can be the sampling steps, like how much you want to set in 25 step or 30 step, etc. But then the other two from this decoder scales and then the decoder steps in here. It is something that we don't have in stable diffusions currently. So I guess if they have to implement this model into Comfy UI or Automatic 11.11, they have to create a new notes in there or a new input data area for us to set these two parameters in Automatic 11.11 as well. So I'm waiting. If they have an update about this model can be compatible with both automatic or comfy UI. 
but at this moment right now, we are able to test the stable cascade in this demo page of Hugging Face. And the GitHub page in here allows you to download the coding on the top of. Here you can download this code and this is also the same demo page in here, but you can run it in locally. But I guess it is not the point for us to download this demo page locally using the GitHub page project. Instead, just enjoy and try in this GitHub demo page at this moment, and let's wait for the updates. If they are supporting in other web UI, like Automatic 111 or Comfy UI, then we can fully enjoy this model using in those system, right? So let's try another example in here that, using their default text, I will say this is a pretty cool thing. Like a city of Los Angeles, this one. And let's try this. Okay, so here we have the result here. That is kind of funny thing. You're putting something that is not realistic, but it is in realistic styles of Los Angeles street. And you see all these details of the street and then of the concrete on the top here. See all those mark? They have did very detail on this and it looks pretty good. And let's try some prompts that not by default in here, uh, let's say, uh, you know, in previous videos, I have tests about the verse gen diffusions model. I have test John Wick and let's try with this one, John Wick in Cyberpunk and let's try in Diffusions Cascade. So let's say John Wick, John Wick close up shot. Okay. Actually, let's not gonna do the traditional text palm. Let's do something like John Wick in Disco, clapping places. He hold pistol ready to shoot the place with cyberpunk Leon Light. Okay, let's try this one like more natural language prompts. That is not like those. One keyword and comma, one keyword and then another comma. Those stable diffusions, 1.5 text prompt styles. Hopefully, it will generate something for me. And there you go, more clear. And hopefully there is something. And let's see the full view of this. Well, the eyes is not kind of clear at this moment, but we can see, okay, there's like the assassin's ring and he's showing very detail of that. And then the wash, but then John Wick is carrying the wash in other side. Actually inside the hand wrist of the watch should be facing inside, I should say. But it does doing something realistic, kind of like everything in here is following my prom really well like in a disco clubbing pace holding a pistol ready to shoot so the action of john wick is ready to shooting the pistol and then you see the cyberpunk leon light is all over here so i can say this is a pass but then the eyes of this we might need a refinder to do that if we need to enhance this image let's say if let's let's try with this problem again with more content and i would say let's fix the eyes Okay, with John Wick picture with clear face and eyes, just do that. Okay, just add one more content in here. Let's hope that it can help for our character face with better quality. Now, one thing I have to mention about this AI model is that it is not for commercial purpose yet. Okay, maybe one day you can purchase this AI models for the license for commercial purpose. But right now, we are just doing it for research purpose. Okay, so another one here. Yeah, we have a better face, more clear and similar styles, I would say. Well, the pistol is kind of awkward in this direction. Well, if you guys have played with firearms before and you would know that the wrists of this and then the angles of the pistol pointing is kind of awkward way. It should be more pointing in the center of the character instead of pointing outward of the character. But, oh well, I would still give it a pass for this, right? This style, 
compared with the previous one, the purely trained one, Chai Diffusion's model, the older Diffusion's model of this sausage model's name, is always giving me the close-up shot of a character. But then in the stable cascade, they have given me more element and actions of the characters. There is more content in the generate image within this sort of prompts. So I would say yes, their quality have suppressed the one child version to already a lot. I mean, it should say a lot. And then of course, they are suppressing the SDXSL a lot as well. And I can see that if we are able to use this model in the future, and we can make AI animations using this model instead of SD 1.5 or SDXL. And of course, we can do way better quality than what we have in today in AI elements. So it, I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. Have a quick test. I just did a very fast videos, quick fast videos about this newer models. I really want to do it today to share it with you guys. And um, yeah, maybe the stable video diffusions, uh, newer update 1.1. I would do it next time in other videos. But then I hope you guys can get inspired of this new models stable cascade and then try it out. This is a very exciting news for me and I hope you guys do so. I will see you guys in the next videos and have a nice day. Bye.